We are here at the African American Museum in Philadelphia, and I'm here with a filmmaker that just screened his film called Under Thumb. His name is Robert X. Goffin. And uh, Robert, how does it feel to have your, your film screened today? Oh, I'm very excited to be back here at Phil, uh, Phil Film. Phil Film is home to me. I've had a couple films here in the past, and I've grown up in this festival. And Under the Thumb is screened at a f multiple festivals, but this is the first one that I've been able to attend personally. Nice. So. That's great. And you said that you've been doing films for a while now. Yes, Tell me about how long has it been for you? Since I was about 14 years old, I discovered a place here in Pennsylvania in Willow Grove called Cinecid. It's defunct now, but at the time it was a communication arts facility for kids to learn how to make movies and television shows. And we got to touch a lot of expensive equipment. So, uh, and, and not just touch it, but learn it and use it and make award-winning stuff. So shout out to Robert J. Clark Jr., who was in charge of that program. It's because of him that I'm a filmmaker today. That's awesome. So you kind of got the bug once you got there, just kind of like from that point on, you just felt like this is what you wanted to do. Oh, yeah, because before that, I wanted to be originally a doctor, and then I realized <laughs> I could not stand the sight oh, yeah. of actual blood. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then I said, okay, I'll be an attorney. And then at 12, 13, it just changed. Okay, so it's easier to use, to use the, um, the fake blood on the film yes, set, right? I can deal with the fake blood <laughs> anytime, but the real stuff, no. I love it. And speaking of fake blood, there's a little scene in your film, Under Thumb, with some little bit bit of fake blood in it. Give us a little quick synopsis about your film. Well, Under the Thumb is about a man and a woman who both feel like they want some freedom in their life and they let loose and do things they ordinarily wouldn't do. And after a night that turns out to be uh, pretty interesting, uh, the woman turns up pregnant and the man is going through his own battles with his faith and everything. And so he ultimately decides to hold her against her will and try to force her to have the baby. Wow, that's pretty interesting. And, and you said a comment earlier that you like to work with social issues, and I think that's great. And tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, I've always been drawn to social issues. When I was a kid, I started making, my first film was called Stricken Teen Space Age, and I made that when I was 14, 15. And then the one after that was called Lit, which was about a group of teens that try to shut down the tobacco company. So I've always been drawn to those kind of stories. Um, they're not necessarily always the hot, big seller type yeah, projects. Yeah, because you're taking risks by, big yeah, time, exactly. Big time. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's stories that need to be told. You know, I, I love taboo storytelling. That's awesome. Okay, so let me ask you, what do you have coming down the pike for us? What's, what's, what's your next film? Give us a little, you know. Well, I just got finished uh, producing, and I have a small role in a television pilot called The Monroes, which is directed by Nikki Koss. And Nikki is an actress who starred in a movie called Red Wing, which was produced by Oscar nominee Terrence Malick. And uh, it's a really great project. I can't say too much about it right now, but hopefully... Uh, it'll be shopped around to some of the networks. We'll see what happens. Wow, that's really amazing. This guy does it all. He's an actor, filmmaker. He does everything. I so try. He tries. I try. Well, it was really great talking to you today, yeah. and I wish you all the best for everything that you do, and um, keep making more films, put them in festivals, and one day we're going to see you, you know, I don't know, at the Oscars one day. Uh, yeah, from your <laughs> lips to God's ears. All right, all right, then we'll make it happen. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you.